How's it going, everyone? Thursday, February 15th, another live trading video. I think this is going to be a really good video because the first trade was a loss. I tried a long on Netflix when it held that pre-market high. I got out a little too soon, but it got stuck at high a day. Netflix can be a little spready. I didn't want to get caught in a pullback, so I bailed on it. Yeah, I got out too quick, but I always try to be very cautious. Very small loss off the open, so a little bit of adversity, nothing that was out of control. So it was the first trade being a loss, the next two being winners, and I ended solid green on the day. It's not about being right on every single trade. I can tell you that I probably have a losing trade almost every single day. I just try to do a really good job at keeping those losses small. Am I perfect? No, but overall, I try to manage that downside to the best of my ability. And if I can do that well, then I know just based on probabilities, if I wait for those spots, I can usually dig my way out and then make up for that downside. And today was a really good example of that. So overall, pretty happy with the day. Now, with all that being said, enjoy the live trading. I want to see some sort of strong move in one direction, and then I want to see a reaction at these levels at prior day highs. A lot of these are trading towards prior day high. And you got SPY and QQQ that taken a little bit of a dip into prior day high. So can they hold prior day high? If so, they need to push and then they need to, and then, but here's the thing, 500 is above on SPY. So in my opinion, it's got to get above that. But if Nvidia starts ripping to the upside, I want to see a reaction and a hold of that prior day high. Looking at Meta. Yeah, I mean, if Meta can pull back to prior day high, really it's got to get above pre-market high and hold it. Also 479. So I'm looking at all this, but once again, I just want to wait for, we got 10 seconds. So I'm just going to wait for reactions. I'm not, I don't think there's a need to have to click anything quick off the open. I'm just going to wait. Let's see if it gets these levels and if there's a clear reaction. So like, I'd like to see a pop on NVIDIA, maybe a hold of prior day high. Netflix just had the immediate dip down to 581. Um, options are going to be a little spready on this, but they're not, they don't look like they're terrible. Let's just wait. I also do like the potential bear flag forming on NVIDIA, but the market's starting to go to the upside. I'm going to try the 590s on Netflix. 590s. See if we can get a little continuation. That was a nice hold of pre-market high for a possible push. Market's going to the upside too. Got stuck at the highs. So this is where if this doesn't really get going pretty quick, I want to just get out of this thing. I want to see that really continue. And then also, if NVIDIA starts to get weak, I wouldn't mind considering an NVIDIA. But SPY and QQQ are really going to the upside. So I'm trying to just go with the trend of the overall market right now, which seems to be to the upside. A little bit with SPY, Q's kind of getting stuck. If this Netflix doesn't flip soon, I'll just get out. And then I, this NVIDIA is starting to look interesting down here. Okay, I'm getting out of Netflix just because that did not go fast. This may end up going. But really what I'm watching, I wanted to see this two-minute candle go. Probably getting out of it a little soon, but I, I just don't care. I want to want to get out of that. The fact that it did not go could easily get stuck at the highs. So I'm probably a little quick to get out of it, but the fact that it just didn't follow through almost immediately, want to get out of the thing. If anything, now maybe a push and a hold. But yeah, the cues kind of wicking towards the lows just gives me a little uncertainty as to what things want to do. And Netflix options were a little spready, but this thing may end up getting a pop. So it probably got out of it prematurely, but that's all right. I just didn't like it got stuck at high day. I also was looking at this NVIDIA. I don't want to be in two trades at once, even though I could have scalped out there and then took NVIDIA or at least wait for a see if NVIDIA can set up. Look at that rejection on NVIDIA. That 
pre-market low rejection. I'm going to try the 730s on NVIDIA, just reacting off that rejection. Pre-market low rejection. Low a day is 726. Just trying to react to the, re the rejection there. This could flip the other way, but I think it's worth a shot. That was a VWAP rejection back under the nine, rejected pre-market low. Low a day is 725.79. See if we get a little drop. Look at the market going too. Wow, look at NVIDIA, look at that drop. Seven twenty five seventy nine is is low a day on Nvidia. Spy QQQ giving it up. Let's see if Nvidia can get a drop here. Looks like it's got a chance. That was a nasty pre-market low rejection. Nasty pre-market low rejection. Spy QQQ weak. All right, I'll just take the drop on NVIDIA right there. The wick started to form. I'll just take that move. That was a nice little move. Just took the rejection off pre-market low. I was really hoping that dropped 726 quicker, but I got $1.25 on the contracts. Just quick drop, quick scalp. I was trying to hold for a possible continuation, but new low a day on NVIDIA. Didn't really get some continuation. Started to kind of wick off of it. Up $1.25 on the contracts, I'll just take it. But I got in NVIDIA short because of that, uh, the 952 candle. Look at that rejection of pre-market low. Pull back, break, retest the pre-market low, wicked off of it, hopped in the puts. NVIDIA may go lower. <laughs> I wish it. I wish it had a bigger drop when I was in it, but it started to wick off the lows and just a potential fake breakdown I thought was in play. But look at this NVIDIA. Look at this NVIDIA now. Looks like it really wants to drop. So I got a nice little scalp on it. Slightly more patient would have led to a much bigger move, but I'm just going to take the scalp. I'm trying it. Tesla 195s. I'm trying Tesla 195s. I'm going to be tight with this. So I got a little pop. I'm only up like 10 cents. I'm going to use flat as the out, even if it means getting wicked out of it. I want to be very defensive. But Tesla above 195 as a shot. I'm going to be defensive. This has to get above 195 quick. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a flat trade for me. Two-minute candle needs to make a new high. What's the market doing? Market's kind of holding up a little bit. It's got to go, though. Come on. Tesla 195 break. Let's get it. It's got to go. I don't like that it's getting stuck up there. Get above 195. Get above 195, Tesla, and we got a shot to really open up. Boom. Look at 195. Don't play games at it. Get above it. All right. I'm taking into the new high. I'm taking that. Taking it. Small little win there. But I got a little push. Above 195, this has a shot. This could go to 196. I'm going to take my scalp. <laughs> 
That was a nice, what did I get on that? I got like a 60 cent move in a matter of less than a couple minutes. If Tesla holds this 195 above 196, there's another potential long there. Not bad, right? 625 on NVIDIA, 160 on Tesla, minus 165 on Netflix. Jumped out of it a little too soon, but it was just being a little overly cautious. Kept the loss small. Two quick scalps in a row to be up 620 bucks. Solid day. Not a bad day, right? That's what I do this for.